And hello, pie friends. Hope, uh, hope this video finds everybody to have had a really good weekend. It's Sunday night here in Louisiana, and everybody's trying to wrap it up, head to bed, get ready for uh, Monday. Uh, my business uh, restaurant is closed on Monday, so we've still got one one day left in our weekend. Of course, we're open on Saturday, so uh, we've got one more day, and I've got a lot to do around the house here tomorrow. The weather took a turn for the worse here, so... But uh, this weekend was, uh, well, actually, our uh, anniversary uh, is Thursday. We've been married to the same wonderful woman for 30 years. Uh, we were both really young. We got married 18 years old. Uh, I remember uh, there were some people that uh, said behind our back, uh, we're too young, wouldn't last, give it two years. Well, 30 years later, we're, we're still together and still as much in love today as we were then. But anyway, we, we drove over to Shreveport uh, yesterday and uh, uh, ate, ate dinner last night and just kind of got out and messed around a little bit and done a little shopping. Well, as naturally, uh, as, uh, as you know, Shreveport carries my favorite, is two of my favorite places and that one of them being Bass Pro Shop and the other one being uh, M.A. Smoke Shop. That's the closest brick and mortar uh, cigar and, and a pipe tobacco shop in this area. So went by there and was going to pick up a couple of tobaccos and my wife treated me to a new pipe. Uh, it's just a little basket pipe, but uh, smokes really good. Um, I picked it out. I was looking at it and she said, well, just pick it up. Just go ahead and get it. But um, I, what attracted me to it, I, it's kind of an old vintage look. I got online and looked. Uh, if you Google pipe shapes uh, and go to images, there's several uh, charts that's got different uh, different pipe shapes on them. And the, as I first thought it might be a diplomat, but after looking some more. I found, uh, because of the way it, it's kind of tapers down on the bottom, there is a pipe called a strawberry shape. Then, of course, there's another one called an acorn. So, I'm, I'm, it's, it's either a diplomat acorn or a strawberry. But uh, anyway, I like the, I like the little finish on it. I, the last three or four that I bought have been rusticated. And I was ready to go back to a smooth one. And like I say, this is an old uh, vintage looking uh, finish on it. And this kind of caught my interest. And in it, I am smoking some uh, a new blend that I picked up over there called Black Bayou. And it is uh, got some Reuben Flake uh, Virginias. Little bit of hint of burley and some dark Cavendish in it. Um, let's have a look there. Like I say, I'm getting, I don't know if this is an aromatic, it's a very light aromatic. Um, but I'm getting more and more partial to Virginia's and Burley's, just straight old Virginia's. And, with burley mixes in them. Um, also, and I'll do a review on it at another date. Uh, we got some delight. Uh, as a lot of you know, I do one called an IQ, uh, the letter I and then Q. And I'm not sure that it's it's, it's a, not a lane limited. It may be the same as some of your guys. One Q. I'm going to do a little little um, research on that and see. Um, if IQ is an aromatic, uh, if one Q is an aromatic, I'm not sure, but it is MA Smoke Shop's number one seller. And until I made Burley Light, my number one go to tobacco IQ for a long time held that number one spot. Um, it kind of, I, I think it fell off my number for my top five, but it is a really good go to. And this delight is. Basically, a first cousin to the IQ, except it's got some uh, got some burlies in it. 
but I'm not going to get to it. I was going to show it to you. I'm going to save that for a later date. And uh, he um, bought the pipe. He gave me an um, ounce of free tobacco, which I picked Highland Whiskey. I've done a review on that. It's a good little aromatic. Don't know why I picked that. I just uh, I knew I was a little bit low. I probably had an ounce and a half left. I said, well, give me an ounce of Highland Whiskey. <clears throat> it's uh, I'm kind of liking it pretty good. I just kind of got back on it. It and the IQ certainly deserved honorable mention in my top five. But um, maybe I should have done a top ten. You know, it's just very few tobaccos that I found that I don't like. And uh, all, all to this A-L-T-I-D-I-S, I think, is, has got some that I just absolutely do not like. Of course, they've got a couple that I do like. Um, but, but like I say, it's, um, not much happening here. The weather took a change this weekend. I mean, uh, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, it was up in the seventies here. Matter of fact, Friday, uh, I took off work a little early and, um, went fishing, went to the lake and, um, should have got out there early that morning, but. Our preacher that where we go to church wanted to go, and he had to get his little girl off school at eight. And I really needed to get Emily, our little six-year-old. She needed to be in, at school, so I took her, and we actually didn't get out there at about nine thirty, and it was probably a couple hours later than we should have been. Didn't have much luck. Uh, so much fresh water. We've had so much rain here. Uh, there was so much fresh water that it just didn't do very good. And but we gave it a shot and did. Um, we stayed out there about three hours. Got a couple of hits, but nothing, you know. Mainly did a lot of visiting, and, you know, it's always relaxing to go to the lake. I enjoy going, even if I don't catch anything. It's still relaxing. It gets my mind off everything. I took a cigar with me and uh, enjoyed it and took some, uh, what did I take? I think I took some M.A.'s Rum Rummy with me and uh, smoked a little of that. So I always usually take a corn cob fishing. But uh, anyway, we're going to wrap it up, and we'll catch you. I'm going to do another one. I've got a cup, another idea on a video I'm going to do here, maybe tomorrow. Then I'm going to do uh, one on that delight. But until then, hope, maybe hope God blesses you.